Hey, you're watching the Gamer Just Duo podcast, number 22. <laughs> I thought I'd keep it a little more low-key today so, because Eric just woke up, and <laughs> uh, I am oh, also <laughs> a bit <laughs> tired, so, yeah. yeah. We'll still be excited for stuff. Functional. But, you know, yeah, we'll still be functional. Don't worry, we're not just going to pass out. I, I mean, it's possible, probably <laughs> not, but it's possible. No. Don't don't be super surprised if we're both just like on the floor. <laughs> Wake up <laughs> five like... hour long video. <laughs> Dude, what if I just published the whole thing? <laughs> just like us like actually us, like, starting to talk crap. and then like just a camera on like your screen but just on the Minecraft poster and every now and then you hear like <laughs> That'd be great. Like five hours of that. Quality stuff, especially if you uh, listen to only the audio format, <laughs> dude. Especially if only you listen to the audio format, because <laughs> you wouldn't even really know what was going on until you heard a, a snore. What if, what if we're just like talking and then we just like pass out? Well, that sounds more of like the unhealthy sort of passing out yeah. than the sleep oh, oh, oh. <laughs> kind. That sounds more of just like ugh, fainting for like uh, random reasons, which. Yeah. Doesn't sound we're an good. entertainment podcast. Oh, yeah, um, that. So, yeah, we're also a conversational podcast. We can talk about whatever the crap we want. So, yeah. but we mostly talk about PlayStation, Destiny, superheroes, uh, lots of superhero stuff. There's there's actually, like, some cool... There there was... There's actually a cool, like, article in here for um, Flash, the Flaro universe, as some people call it. <laughs> So we'll get we'll get to that soon. Until then, I am one of your hosts, TPCX, but you can call me Teddy. My light is still out over there and it's bothering me. And this is Eric, <laughs> your uh, other host, also known as Legend PDM. Yep. Yep. Oh. Hola. This this is seriously killing me. My light is out and it's been out for months and it's Mate, got to be you dealt with. Have money. Go to the store. But I don't know and get what. Bulb. I just don't know what actual like type of bulb it is. Take it to the store. Huh? Maybe I can freaking just put it on your wallet or something. Let me just Make it to you remember. Let me just. Let me just. Oh look, you got an armpit there going on. <laughs> I'm just gonna just gonna unscroll this while uh, you tell us what games you've been playing in the past. Okay, week. what have been, what have I been playing? I've been playing. Oh my gosh. Many Holy games. crap! Destiny. Oh gosh, Rick, don't fall. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Rick. The glitchers, boop. Rick. <laughs> uh, Rick. Did Rick fall down? Yeah, he fell over for a bit. Oh, yeah. He's okay, though. But yeah. Oh no! <laughs> GG. He, he fell behind the desk, I'm fairly sure. <laughs> I think he's. Oh. Rip Rick. Where'd he go? <laughs> he's this is, gone. This is, all for, this is all foretelling what happened. Oh no. Six. <laughs> Yeah, Rick's gonna die. That's hilarious. From falling over. <laughs> He's just gonna fall off a mountain. He's gonna fall off a cliff. It. He's gonna, gonna fall, fall off a cliff, and that's the end of the show. <laughs> How anticlimactic would that be? Oh my gosh. Like, we're, we're, six like, seasons in. We're show, we're just chilling there, and, he, and she actually <laughs> accidentally just pushes him off. <laughs> Rick, like, no! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Walking Dead credits. <laughs> so, He's back uh, up now. It's okay. He's there. He's hanging up. So, hey, yeah, what were you saying? Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, Destiny. So much Destiny. Like, okay, usually my amount of Destiny playing has been, like, from doing the raids every week. Um, well, at least most of the raids, at least. And Actually, maybe, not really. Nightfalls. Not lately, to be honest. Like lately, I, I, I'm saying, I'm about to say, and it's gone from raids and um, nightfalls to just nightfalls. Uh, Basically, that's it. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, is freaking right after that trailer, that teaser trailer for House of Wolves. I just like, We're like, day, all right, let's go. <laughs> this Gotta morning, I successfully, or today at least, I have successfully completed two sets of Crucible bounties, three sets of Vanguard bounties, and all three sets of Eris bounties. It's so, pretty it's pretty great. Yeah, I did. I've been doing. I've like 
But see, you have a ton more time than me. So like my yeah. equivalent to that well, is so that I can <laughs> that I've actually been doing a set of bounties on a character every day. Like I, right. it was my Titan, but I did I all of my exotic pieces of armor for my Titan are fully maxed. Every single one of nice. them. So I I'm moved more, on to my warlock. Titan. Yeah, so I moved on to my so warlock. Hard to, it's so hard to upgrade him because I have to juggle between doing bounties and then doing rock strikes for plasteel plating. Mm, yeah, it's that's, very tough, that's what I'm going to have to... That's where I'm... I haven't gotten to that point and yet, but I'm sure I'll get there soon. When I did do rock strikes, I didn't do as many as I should have. I did, I did them with Ryan, and I got I just... like... A ton. I got like 50 something. I just really, really miss the loot cave, even though I've never part of the loot cave. The loot cave would come in real I'm handy the loot right cave now. Is for class material. Exactly. A legendary or anything. Exactly. Like we just class. need class material. It'd be great. Yeah, I would. I would love yeah. the loot cave right Mostly now. Mostly Destiny. I mean, we play some league here and there. Every There's now and then. All good. In there. Um. Oh my gosh, I, I still... There's like a spot of RuneScape, I guess. A spot, a little a little dribble. A I little try to fit it in. Build a little grind in there, a little... Well, you can do that while you watch shows, so it's not too big of a deal. I can deal. do it right now. You you could, I mean, because will you, but you expensive. could. <laughs> you, uh, one, one time, I can't remember when it was, but you were doing something, and or we were talking or something, and you were like, just to let you know, I've been playing RuneScape this entire time, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it, really? It was after the podcast. Oh, well, GG, dang. It was like the week before, number 20 or something. I so, remember. yeah. Yeah, it's very... Um... <laughs> Words, mate. Multitasking <laughs> friendly. There we yeah, go. I don't right. know. It works. I just woke up. <laughs> it, w it works. It works. What you need to do is go out to your nearest gas station... And pick yes, yourself so. up some Mountain Dews and some Doritos. Oh, yeah, and come back and get that double, double XP. <laughs> but for Call of Duty, cause yeah, mate. <laughs> we can talk about Call of Duty. Oh, we 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 will. We actually have a lot to talk about, especially considering that we haven't talked about Daredevil yet. So, um, oh yeah, yeah, that is the number, that's my number one topic. And we need right like a, we need like a refresher of like every episode. Oh, I I don't know if I could ever forget. <laughs> that's how good they were. You know what I mean? I mean, there were certain episodes like I don't know the number, but like yeah. there was like a certain episode that was like really good. Oh, so many. there's so many. It's so many. That finale, though. Okay. We'll get on to that yeah. in a minute. So, <coughs> anything else? Did you play any Guild Wars early in the week, maybe? Probably. Um, no. Probably. Oh, all right. I haven't touched nice. it in, like, a week. Nice. Um, <coughs> uh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's, that seems about right. Uh, yeah, Eric is eating pizza right now as well. <laughs> you woke up and pizza was at his door. Yeah, he think... woke up at seven at night, okay. and pizza was at his door, <laughs> and that's what kind of life it's he's Papa living John. right now. I, no, it's not Papa John's. It's Pizza Hut. I'm not. I'm not a big Pizza's giant awesome. fan of, of Pizza Hut. I love pizza because I don't like their crust. I love their crust. It's the best thing. Only if it's stuffed crust. But um, it's not stuffed crust. It's yeah. like this. And if it's normal crust, it's I eat. But you know, other places yeah. are definitely better. It's like um, the crust. meat lovers' pizza. That's all right. Normally, yeah, what I mushrooms, yeah, what I get is just a pepperoni stuffed crust. <laughs> like that's it. And if I get something different, I get like a a small thin crust pepperoni because yeah. I'm boring. I like the thin crust. Yeah, and thin, pasta. yeah, thin crust good. Thin crust is good. good. Did you know that? Did you know that freaking um, Pizza Hut sells waffle fries? No. They're amazing. For real, I got an order delivered one time, like when I was too lazy to go somewhere. And that's one of the things about that's awesome about this house that freaking pizza that delivers here. But I got it yeah. delivered, and I got, I saw on the website, I went to sides, and I scrolled down. And I was like, yeah, you got the breadsticks and all this. And you scroll down, and you get into obscure things, and one of the one of those was freaking waffle fries and i'm and like, like yeah let's freaking try these out and i they got here and they're really good as in like they're really crispy and like salty but not too salty and like 
They were good. That's all I have to know. Kind of like um. Surprising. We like too salty. The would be like Chick Fil A waffle fries. They put Actually, way too much salt on there. So I don't. I don't. There was one place like recently that I went to. It might have been McDonald's or something. I don't know. Oh yeah. Wendy's started putting a bunch of salt on their fries, but I don't know why. I didn't even I freaking mind. I love Wendy's fries. They're Dude, so okay. good. I love Wendy's. Either, I like Wendy's a lot. Eat like a large fry from there. Put it in your trash can in your room and smell that smell. It's disgusting. It's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty strong it smells smell. Like, smells like freaking a smoldering <laughs> Butt crack or something. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like you may have gotten a bad batch of fries if you're no if you're smelling I butt crack. Wendy's, I, I love the baconator, mm. and I, I I eat like half the fries. Oh, I'm Wendy's like, so eh, much. Is, and I see throw that, it away. See, that's my favorite thing, dude. Because the baconator is awesome, and the best thing about the baconator is you don't have to add any like um, modifiers to it. Like you don't have to say right. no onions or no because it's just the burger. Ketchup mm. and mayonnaise, and I'm like, yeah. I mean, so, I, I dip my burger in ketchup sometimes just to give it extra. Oh my god, but it's whatever. <laughs> Let me guess, you dip in freaking applesauce too? But yeah. <laughs> no, that would be disgusting. <laughs> oh, that would be disgusting. That's where you actually draw the no line. bacon. I don't know. I don't know what burger would taste like without applesauce. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe it's possible, but I don't know. Anything's possible. It has some sauce mean. in it. So but like, yeah, so yeah. You, you don't have to yeah, add right. any modifiers. And, like, I I don't know why. I it's freaking love Wendy's burger. fries. Yeah, it's like, I literally can get, like, a Baconator with medium fries and a fruit punch, mm -hmm. and it's delicious. I need to go yep. to Wendy's. I need to go to Wendy's. <laughs> I don't think there's even one nearby. So, Dude, okay, actually, I before we get off the topic of food. Uh... <laughs> Talk about Wendy's um... for five minutes. I went to, I, when I, I go to DQ, I usually get the chicken tender basket. Yeah, crazy. but I, I decided to deviate from that since it's something I always get. I got sure. one of their sandwiches. Right. It tastes amazing. Are you a, are you a breakfast defector, mate? <laughs> is that what you are? <laughs> have you what seen those mean? dumb Taco Bell commercials? Apparently, you haven't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The breakfast defector, and I'm a breakfast defector, dude. Do you see the first one where it was like trying to be Hunger Games, and then it was like. No. It's like, to eat the same breakfast is the best thing. To I eat the same breakfast will make you happy. And, and it's like uh, propaganda what? in like black and white. People are oh lining up to get like a biscuit. And then like some guy's like, nah, I'm gonna go get this, oh, this chicken I get it. biscuit. And then he like <laughs> runs away. And <laughs> so oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, At first, uh, I was like, this could be an all right commercial. And then it started, it like kept going and kept going. I'm like, nah, <laughs> this is dumb. This is really yeah. dumb. <laughs> Yeah, man. If you if you have a Dairy Queen, try one. I, try their number four. All right. Good to without know. Tomato, without so, tomato. So what tomatoes was it? Tomatoes are an abomination of the earth. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes on sandwiches. You know, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes on anything really. Fresh tomatoes, just yeah. they're useless. Yeah, I... squishy and gross. Dude, and <laughs> cutting tomatoes is my least favorite thing on the planet to do at my job. So, there's that. It all, it all tomatoes, makes sense. They're, they're the worst. Full circle. <laughs> tomatoes, Illuminati confirmed. All right. So, anyway. I have been playing. <laughs> uh, I've been playing. Uh, let's see. I Seriously, because of that bungee stuff, I have gotten back into Destiny. Um, yeah, bounty. Every. I maxed out freaking... What what was it? I maxed out my Crest of Alpha Loopy for my Titan. This is all since like last Saturday oh, yeah. or something, or last you know last Thursday. I mean, and then I maxed out my my Crest of Alpha Alpha yeah Alpha Loopy Alpha for my Lupi. Titan, Lupi. and then I also maxed out Obsidian Mine and yeah. Pocket and Infinity, and now Thorn is almost done, oh, <laughs> and this is in like a couple of days. It's so awesome. Dude. You got you got to try uh, Thorn when you get that max. It's almost it's maxed. I brutal. I've been adding. You can still use it. Yeah. Because I've, I've been adding. You, know, if you the got effects, the market of power. I've been adding yeah. the effects as I go instead of waiting until it's all done, then putting it all in. I've been like adding yeah. them as I go so that like I can actually use, use them it. while I'm You're doing sure. bounties, you know. So they yeah. uh, they level up that way as well. But um, I suck at hand cannons in Crucible. 
I, I can't oh, do it. You won't suck with freaking I can't, Thorn. Oh you my see, gosh, people dude. say that about Hawkmoon. I can't do it. And I don't know why. Dude, okay, so I went and I played with a game with Ryan. Or I went and played a game with, by myself waiting for Jared. And you I... You just shoot them. And they're dead. Well, that's, well, that's how most guns work. Yeah, <laughs> or this, at least in It doesn't matter. You don't need to have pinpoint accuracy <laughs> or anything. I mean, if you do get headshots, you can take, a, take someone out in two headshots. Freaking ridiculous. Yeah, well. But, so I went and I played a game by myself. And, dude, I played Combined Arms because I saw that that was oh, up gosh. for the weekend. I was like, yeah. oh, my goodness. I don't even think I've played this yet. So I jumped in. And it put me on first light. First <laughs> light. And I was like, oh, yes. I that map. Beta. The, all the old school beta knowledge was coming in handy. I went, I got 13 kills and never died. Seriously, why is that not in the regular rotation? I, so, I, I just don't get why combined arms and salvage are weekend things. That's that's what kills okay, me. They're, like, do they're doing that because um, Bungie... They, uh, they're Did known for it? having different like game it. modes dead. So what they're doing is, like, making it exclusive to weekends. I so that uh, they become popular. I, I just... Yeah, that's... Not, not good enough, Bungie. Not good they were enough all, reason. Yeah, that's the main reason I can think of. It, because if you had them, all the game modes open at once, then maybe one or two of the game modes would be dead. And no. don't play so I don't know. That, that happens. You know, you, you live with it, Bungie. You move on. You just say, "Hey, everybody gets to play every game." Mode. Yeah, I mean, if the, the the easy solution to that would be make a bounty for each game mode. That's also true. All right then, <laughs> get on it. But <laughs> but yeah, for real. So I got on first light and I was employing my A to C under the ground tactics where I never get out mm. in the open and I, I yep. dude I literally the first heavy ammo dropped I never left I never ran I just got a freaking league invite right now okay um but I never I ne yeah I was like <laughs> but I never left I never didn't have heavy ammo after that I got heavy ammo at yeah. the beginning of the match, and at the end of the match, I had heavy ammo, and I never stopped. Oh gosh, did you, it, did you go ham? I 13 and 0. I had 13 KD at the Wait, end. Wait, dude, are you kidding me? No, I had I went broken. 13 and 0, mate. You could have gotten broken. You need 15 kills to go, yeah. get the seal of unbroken. It happened. Oh, my gosh. I then, I, so I, got, I got a medal called <laughs> Hat Trick, which, is, yeah, uh, which was pretty cool. I'm not sure what that one's for, though. It seemed very impressive. <laughs> I'm not sure what it was, but it seemed impressive. I'm going to look it up while you're... So, talking. yeah. Um, Destiny, get your booties ready for House of Wolves. Because um, we yeah, definitely are. Destiny. We've been playing mainly Destiny, as you can tell. Freaking Destiny. Um, we got all our vaults done. I've been playing Shovel Knight on and off because Shovel oh, yeah. Knight is still freaking like great. That. It's so good. Gosh dang it. It's really, uh, really good. Go buy Shovel uh, Knight, people. Um, in a single life, capture three control zones. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Because I was running back and forth between A and C. Right. Um, so yeah, Destiny Shovel Knight. To be honest, other than that, you, like, I well League Bloodborne. League. Yeah, I try. <laughs> I had like thirty minutes one, or I had like, like forty minutes or something, and I was like, you know, I was just gonna try and kill this guy real quick, and then I was like, nope, didn't work. See you later. I'll, I'll be back. Just kind of poked it's kind of it. poked it, yeah. It's poked it. So yeah, league, which I like league and I like the competitive aspect of league, but I like Destiny slightly better. So like most of my time is going to Destiny. So right. like I would like to get into league, but I like get super hardcore into it again. But like I don't physically have the time, so I'm I'm mainly using it just as like a way to be social with Gabby, Jared, and Nate. So it's fun. Yep. Um, Hard to get into a game, <laughs> as in like all of us together at the same place. Yeah. As if today is any indication. <laughs> yeah. But I think that's it. Um, I can't think of anything else. I feel like there's something else on PS4, but I forgot. So we have right. a lot. We can since we're talking about. about a lot about uh, Destiny. We can just go right into the reveal. 
Sure. Let's highlight the the biggest parts of what happened. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. So I guess yeah, we haven't. It was Tuesday that happened. I know. Tuesday, it's crazy. Wednesday. It feels like forever ago. Um, <clears throat> <coughs> so Bungie had their. I'm sure. So if you on the internet enough, you probably have heard that Bungie was on Twitch and got like 140 plus constant viewers. That's concurrent awesome. viewers, That's so which weird. is insane. That's really good. <laughs> Game is dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. But yeah, um, yeah, they streamed it on, they streamed Destiny, the new d- expansion, and uh, they revealed a ton of stuff. And the community pretty much, they they died. The, <laughs> we all died. Uh, we're all, we're all dead. Right, but, we're gonna buy. It. We can't buy no, it. No, we can't buy it. We're all dead. They killed <laughs> us all. But <laughs> they're the darkness. Spoilers. But um, <laughs> basically, the truth. Is <laughs> the truth. Hashtag got the truth. <laughs> Bring it yeah. full circle, but basically they revealed the reef, the this the new social, social space. space. They uh, it's either called the Queen's Bay or the Vestian Outpost. I'm, Not exactly hundred fa- percent on that. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Actually, they said both because of them. Hun- because both of them are, con- are confirmed like names. I think both of them have been okay. said. So maybe the Vestian Outpost is like for I I'm gonna. I'm gonna Something bet right. that it's called the Vestian Outpost. That's my bet. Yeah, that's a that's my bet. You can, then that way we can just call it the Outpost instead. Yeah. You know, like the Tower, the Outpost. So yeah, that's cool. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. If it's not called that, I'll be disappointed. But oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, they showed the reef off. What's awesome about this, and the reason why everyone died, if you're not clued into the Destiny world. Also, I just realized. This is my first podcast with my new headset. Oh, yeah. Boom. Razor. It's broke. Razor crack. And, um... Yeah, my other one broke. These are yeah. really nice. <laughs> These are surprisingly nice. every base. Pretty, pretty much. <laughs> every but single. Every, every <laughs> single base. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah. The best thing about... Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. The best thing about this and the reason why everyone died and is all super excited for it is because Up even please. without Raid... Even without a raid, we were shown everything, and like uh, our friend Fleabag said, he was like he was waiting for that one moment where they were just gonna be like, where you're gonna be like, oh, I don't really like that. He was just waiting for that one moment that they were gonna show off, right? And it never happened. Every right. single thing they showed off was like, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. And cool. there's still more oh, to come. Pretty, oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Like everything was Holy good. Crap. Everything was good. The upgrading path, which was horrible last time around, is awesome. Every legendary or exotic can be ascended to the new cap. Just tossing that out there. Yeah. Like, and so, you don't lose your freaking progress on it. That's what's awesome. Those who That's the those who um, don't play Destiny, it, pretty much, if you if you have a gun that you a, a gun that you liked from the beginning, of the vanilla game, you can bring it up to the potential it to the other guns that are being brought into the game. And pretty much it's like a weird transmog system, only it's not like putting the skin on another gun. It's bringing the stat up with all the other guns. Just curious, do you have any legendaries from, like, the original vendors? I don't think I do. If I do, you you still have that? My favorite hand cannon. That's my first legendary. Well, GG. I uh yeah, I don't so think good. I I don't think I have anything like I've just been sort of a shadow price either no I didn't use it he's a vanquisher uh yeah. yeah I don't know I didn't keep anything like all all this stuff was like by the time I was really getting into like collecting legendaries and exotics it was like kind of time for House of Wolves and then House of Wolves came out Dark and, and I also Dark yeah, oh yeah you're right Dark Below and then, um yeah I. By that time, I had, like, vault weapons, and those were the ones that I really yeah, was We had a lot of vault space to, issues back then, so. too. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't really have anything. But just the fact that they showed off that there was a gun fully maxed, all you needed with this was this new currency, and then you pressed it, and it was n- to the new cap. You didn't okay. lose any of your yeah. upgrading. That was the best about, part. About this. I noticed something a little different, and a lot of people, they're... Other did, uh, others did. 
Um, I'm not sure if you did, but when you look at the new guns, the specifically the ones from the vendors, and yeah, the ones from the vendors, they didn't have any damage bubbles. Mm, that's I'm thinking maybe, and the, the armor didn't either. It didn't have any defense bubbles. I don't really like the damage and defense bubbles. Like, I wish Me just either. as you I went, mean, it increased damage. As you went through the perks and whatnot, it just like... Yeah. There, I but... think if they do that, that's really big because then if you... Say, like, you got the... You know how when you got the freaking um, Dark Below armor from yeah. Crota mm -hmm. and you start a, uh some... I don't know what what did you start out with like thirty or something, with all the red gear on. It would, probably, I think it would. Yeah. Probably thirty. I'm not sure. How Either it would thirty or thirty-one. Do it, but like once you get that armor, you you can get the potential, I guess, that it has. I'm not sure there, but they're I think they're trying to take that barrier down with leveling. Uh, are, you, are you saying that it's going to be a lot easier to level up your raid gear or like end game gear? I, I don't think it'll be easier because I think maybe the bubble, each bubble will take longer to upgrade. Yeah. Now that they take off. Yeah, they... I don't think this is going to make any huge difference in the end game. It's just going to clean up the freaking way things are upgraded. Right. Which is awesome. But I, th I think, I mean, certain armor, if you slap it on, it'll get you to a higher thing but you won't have the perks and to get the perks. I yet. don't think so at all. I don't think that's the thing. I think it'll start out just how it normally starts off, but like we said, as you upgrade it upgrades. I don't think it'll start you off any higher. I don't know. Because there was a gun that started at three sixty five. That's also probably them just you know it could just be dev stuff things. off. Yeah, dev things. Yeah. Um yeah, there's no way you buy a gun and it's 365 and then you start. Like, if that's the true, that's gun. insane. But I highly doubt that, and I don't think I would like that, to be honest. I don't know. But... One of the next cap will be three. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. Three? No. Yeah. Because you add two or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. But, add... yeah, I hope they don't do that. So, we got to wrap up the Destiny talk in, like, three minutes because we're already getting pretty late into this and we have a ton to talk about. So, let's see. Big things okay. that they revealed was ascending the gear. You didn't have to upgrade all that. There were three vendors, yeah. or, yeah, three new vendors that they showed, right? Three? Um, three. Well, there's a new Cryptarch, <laughs> and there's the yeah, Osiris yeah. guy, the Varix dude, the yeah, yeah. Boss of Judgment, who works with the what? Yeah. Prison yeah. of Elders. Yeah, there was a Prison of Elders vendor, basically. There was a... There was the a... Yeah, there was a um yeah, Petra Val who was Venge. the Ven? Venge. I swear it was Val V A L. V E N J. All right. Petra Venge. I am almost positive about this, but sure, Petra Venge. She I watch a lot of stuff on this. <laughs> yeah, so have I. But she basically is the the queen dude, as Gathalian called her. Yeah. She basically like, you know, does the quest kinda like Eris does. Um and then there was the trials of Osiris vendor, and then there was a new crypt arc, and then you get into all the stuff that's normally they at the tower. Have all the, yeah, you yeah, have the you got the vault uh, bounty bot. Yeah, the bounty bot which is awesome, and the the vault and postmaster <clears throat> All that stuff, which is great. So, And then they showed, like, the reason for you to go back to the tower is still there. You can go You can go back the to the speaker. tower. Yeah, the speaker can, like, exchange gear. Yeah, he can, like, change radiant. Materials. Yeah, he can, like, exchange materials. You can, like, if you need some glimmer, here, go turn in some ascendant shards, you know? It's so cool. Yep. So, um, that's awesome. All of it's freaking awesome. The Prison of Elders vendor was what was so awesome for me. That's what I'm definitely most excited to hear about. Um, and especially after us, like, um, watching the lore. Yeah. That's, it's a lot, it's really interesting to see a Fallen. Yeah. Also, in, in a, if you guys are, form. yeah, if you guys are interested in Destiny lore or want to be interested in Destiny lore, go to uh, Sir Wallen. Yeah, and look at his freaking like. Powerhouse. Look at look at his <laughs> playlist. 
<laughs> He's not the powerhouse. I mean, he can be the powerhouse, powerhouse of Destiny. Destiny lore. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So exactly. there is your new title, title, sir. Um, yeah. So go to his channel, look at his playlist, and go through those because those are really, really interesting. Yeah, he's a really cool. He narrates them to where it's actually yeah. like, if you put his commentary into the game, it would sound like actual. It's so good. Like actual, like, yeah. You know. He puts it like with Destiny music too. It's great. So and he references you as Guardian. And stuff yeah. Like so the. The biggest thing that I'm going to... I don't know. Well, are we missing anything else? I want to talk about my favorite thing that was shown. Um, are we missing anything? two ghosts. Big? One's on a beam. Yeah, there's two ghosts. <laughs> um, Look, go to the line. Uh, so, yeah, those vendors. I don't know. They're showing off Trials of Osiris next week. Um, yeah. Or this upcoming With Wednesday. I, uh, I don't know. There's uh, not anything else. Really. Well, there's two doors that is yeah. there. They sh- they hinted that at that they uh, might open expansion. at a future time, yeah. So that's maybe cool. it's like a Azure type thing. Yeah, or or day. or an Iron Banner type thing, definitely. Yeah. Um, so, dude, I'm so excited. My favorite thing about like each vendor was on the Prison of Elders vendor. He had a box that said Prison of Elder Rewards, and you could spend some currency to just get a box of like random yeah. prison of elder rewards that's i was really like that's cool. so cool that's like freaking yeah. buying a deck in hearthstone they also something. said like i don't think they had all the rewards in that yeah. certain thing uh, they said they're gonna make it to where you can see what rewards you can get not yeah. just random drop that's cool so that's interesting i oh, think so you'll like have, it would you'll be able to see no like no week. well i think he might rotate like they yeah. said yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. um you will. Uh, you'll be able to see what loot you can get rather than just going to Prison Builders and getting the RNG Interesting. Uh, loot table. I'm excited. So, so excited. Yeah. This is all really good. Like, this is all changing the end game in a really, really like, good way. Anyone who had bad opinions, bad, not bad opinions, I guess, a bad, a bad taste in their mouth after they played Destiny for a, a, quite a while, this changes it to what you probably wanted. Yeah, like... It, it takes, like... 50% of the grind away. The Wrong. Oh, man. And all the currency, just from what I saw, like, at the vendors and whatnot, it seems like, I I don't know, it seems, like, really balanced and really good, like, the etheric light and the different stuff that you get from Prison Velders yep. and Trials of Osiris. I am so ready to sink my teeth into this. Just, uh, you know? Yep. yep. So, nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. So, Daredevil. Or yep. should... Yeah, let's talk about. It. Let's get yeah, this Daredevil out of the way. Blow through the news. Stuff. Blow through the news. So we have eight minutes to talk about Daredevil, mate. Let's okay. talk. Let's do yeah. it. All right, Daredevil. He's blind. He's blind. He's Batman at the he's same time. Legit. He's. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Netflix released a series called Daredevil. It is a Marvel. He is a Marvel superhero. This takes place in the Marvel in- Cinematic Universe. Yeah. That's what's so good. Of, that's what's so freaking good about it they reference freaking yeah the superheroes and he i saw a report this week saying he might show up in a future movie i'm like all right so yeah freaking amazing um it's just really good it's like if it was in the reverse if it was in the reverse like say um they had a daredevil movie and he was with captain america and all them yeah so if it would just be him translated to the show but it'd be like it's kind of the opposite way now, obviously, yeah. since he got a show first. I like so, it. So, but he's still in the same universe. Yeah, and, and he will to... he will possibly show up in a movie, which is same actor awesome. and everything. Yeah, I mean they're it's not amazing. gonna change it. Oh my gosh! So yeah, it's really good. Um, the it's I don't know, it's like Flash and Arrow, but like even Wait. better story wise and like camera the f- action and camera the action scenes. I still like the story of Arrow and uh, Flash, right. but the action is so dumb sometimes. And okay, and the camera's like this close. To re- yeah, oh, dude, the fr- <laughs> 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 it's so true, dude. Did you see last week when they were like escaping through the uh, the the underground area and they yeah. started? G- they came up on some league members and literally that Malcolm and Diggle like fight them off. And then Felicity, 
just takes a <laughs> stick and hits one in the shin, and he goes, whoa! And he falls down, and he's, like, knocked little, out! I think that's just a little comic relief there, but... <laughs> Oh man, I still I still love Arrow and Flash, and like the storylines are fantastic, and where they're going is fantastic. It's really cool. Yeah, but Daredevil is on another level, baby. <laughs> so good. It's really, fa- I like. I rewatched the finale the other day. I told Eric. I need to rewatch so awesome. the freaking um, scene in the hallway where they just the had the dude scene. walking over the bodies, like the cameraman. Literally, we was just walk over the bodies back and forth yeah, the, and going around bringing so, Daredevil. So basically, so cool. in episode two at the end, like basically he's like really worn out. He did a lot of fighting. He's really hurt. But he's like, all right, I'm going to go save this kid. And he does it anyways. So he basically like he, the the, she, the scene, the sheen, the scene starts the and he's just looking at this door like very d- dimly lit. And then or this door at the end of the hallway. And then like daredevil walks in and then like the cool thing about this is he basically what he does is he goes down the hall he enters this room starts beating him up blah 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 he goes into the next room he goes out he gets the kid and then he walks out that's what happens but the camera camera. yeah it's One. one camera it's one take it starts right here it's looking at the door they back up as he enters and like he pulls the dudes out like it like it'll be looking at the hallway and then he'll enter the room and then like he'll kick one out of the room and then it just like keeps going through the hallway and then like move it's so amazing it's like one of the best things i've seen done by a camera (laughs) in forever so oh also freaking wilson fisk dude is Mm -hmm. such a developed villain like Like he's kind of bad for him yeah like there are moments where you question you're like is he really the bad oh yeah yeah he's definitely the bad guy (laughs) like you definitely those moments don't last long but there are moments where you're like i don't know he's trying to do a different he's he's trying to do something you know it's crazy that he smashed some guy in the head with that that oh that scene was gruesome because like he's like yeah yeah, my employer wants to talk to you and it seemed all cordial and he just wanted to talk to him and then all of a sudden he opens the door and he's like pulls him out of the freaking car starts you embarrass me yeah and he slams his head to the car door until he dies and his head is like yeah he he needed to sound effects over here he needed to die (laughs) He needed uh, to be dealt with, and he was dealt with. That was that's what was so awesome about the freaking finale is that like it was so built up. Also, the freaking do you remember? Of course you remember that freaking speech in the car, like as he's being <laughs> taken away, the the uh, the Good Samaritan story that he told. Oh, that was the best. I'm surprised you don't remember this. Remember. I mean, I know there was a speech in the car. He was in the car, and he was talking. He was telling the the Samaritan parable, and he was talking oh, about yeah. it and how there was two men, and um, you know, it, yeah, first yeah. the guys came upon him, came upon the Samaritan, the the men with ill intent, and then the others just were going about their day. Family. And he was like, "I always thought that I was the Samaritan. I thought that I was the one who wanted but to I help the city." Happens. Yeah, and then like. At the end, the guy's like, "What? What does that mean?" And he's like, "And then everyone means, dies." It means that I realize now that I'm not the Samaritan, but I am the man of ill intent. And then he like <laughs> looks up, and they freaking, and then like the guy gets shot or something. And then basically he starts to get like rescued by like his group of goons. I don't know. They they like bust him out, I mean, and they're there's... like fully armed. Oh. The, yeah, like they're fully SWAT armed. Troops. They're like moving. It. Yeah, there were SWAT troops, and one of the guys in the car was like calling the police, and then he's like, the other guy in the car with him, the other police officer was like, yeah, all right, Pff, let's get you out of here, Mister Mister We got and the package. We got the, yeah. It was ridiculous. The best part of that was like after the speech, after all of that, Wilson Fist like the doors open. And he steps out, and the music is like freaking. Giant overcoat. (laughs) Yeah, the coat is like billowing in the wind, and it's doing the uh, like sort of Inception music sound with like, Mm -hmm. and he's like, 
That looked so amazing. Yeah. That was this show is awesome. And that final fight scene was just perfect. Yeah. Because <clears throat> what they did was they had basically that fight scene halfway through the season, but Fisk won. You know? Yeah. And this time and at the oh dude the parallels like he he goes in you know halfway through the season he was um daredevil was really angry because he had killed the the woman and he right. and he's like i'm gonna kill you and you know fist steps up all cocky and is like take your shot and then fisk wins that fight and daredevil gets away and this this moment Fisk is super angry. He's being hunted down, mm -hmm. and he's like, "You ruined everything. I'm gonna kill you." And then he <laughs> he puts away his like uh you know fighting uh, scrimmage sticks. Yeah, he puts them yeah. away, and then he goes, "Take your shot." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah! I was like cheering in my seat. That's seriously one of the best TV shows I've seen in a long time. It might be but rated up there. There is a season the last... two coming. Yes. There you go in 2016 uh what i thought was really weird it's like when he got when fisk inevitably i mean every villain loses and gets thrown into prison oh, but, uh, that prison the scene freaking, too. the wall the wall was so good i was just like no oh, way they're like doing the wall mind thing. blown dude mind blown it was so perfect basically for people who haven't seen it if you haven't seen it what are you doing watching this because we're spoiling everything the <laughs> the um well not everything they're so it, it's the real experience from this show yeah. is watching it honestly yeah it's true but yeah. we're we were talking about the finale you know yeah but yeah. the basically when they introduce fisk he's looking at this painting and it reminds him and like he says how it reminds him of how lonely he wall. is of what Reminded me of him of the drywall. Do you remember when? <clears throat> well, yeah, but he, he was saying, "How does she said? How does this make? How does this make you feel, or something?" And he's like, "Lonely, alone." And yeah, alone. Yeah. And then at the end, like the 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 wall, he's looking at it, and it basically it like so. it basically like mimics the painting. Yeah, it mimics and it, like that. and he looks at it, and he's like, and it just ends. <laughs> I was like, yep. yeah. So we went two minutes over on that one. I say we did a good job. Daredevil is yeah. one of the best shows Daredevil's that has amazing. been. Buy Netflix, get a trial, watch it. Yeah. Get your subscription, whatever. It, it's one <laughs> of the best shows in a long time, if not of all time. So yeah. go watch it right now. Moving on, let's go through this news really quickly so that we can then yeah. talk about uh, well. Flash and Arrow. <sighs> so we have 20 minutes we get, left. Let's get. Let's do Black Ops. We Black can talk Ops. about that pretty fast. Yeah, Black Ops Three was Black Ops confirmed three. and announced, and trailer. they have finally have some gameplay, which um, to, came out today. I, I like Call of Duty. I'm gonna buy it, but like the gameplay itself, I don't know. It looks, looks good. Like it looks game. very much like Black Ops, which is awesome. Um, I talked to Ryan about this, and me and him, we don't we're kind of not the biggest fans on the extra movement. Like we're okay. We're but um, what Black Ops 3 is presumed to have is um, vertical jump like Destiny and also like some like small dashes. Yeah. But that's pretty much it. It's not going to be like even if Black Ops 3 had like almost the same sort of exosuit as Advanced Warfare, even if it did, it's, it it's would like not have been. Out. Yeah, it would. But even if it did have that same thing, it wouldn't have been near as fast because Black Ops are slow games, you know? Yeah. So like even if it it's was very heavier. similar, like it still wouldn't Why be like your advanced warfare on cocaine type of speed type right. thing. So I don't True. know. I'm excited. The best part of that freaking trailer was when the zombie came out and it was Rick Toffin's eyes. Like I, I we watched it I watched it right before this. Eric sent it to me and I was like, Alright, let me watch this and I was like, watching. This is really cool, this is good gameplay and he's like, Have you have you kept watching? And I'm like, Oh, I guess I'll keep playing the and, and then the freaking, the freaking it like, was what? the zombie, it was Rick Toffin's eyes, and it was freaking the zombie Treyarch sound. It was not Advanced Warfare, Warfare sounds, it was Warfare. the Treyarch sound. It was beautiful. So yeah, Black Ops 3 looks uh, Ops 3. interesting. I really, I, I feel like I really should get into the single player. 
in these games. Yeah, Advanced Warfare single player was honestly really good. I haven't freaking finished I, I it. it. I'm like two yeah. missions from the end. That's what kills me. What? I'm like two two missions in. <laughs> it's really good. Like I, I it's, I'm playing on. It's... I'm playing on the the max uh, level two. Just yeah, I was playing on. Yeah, that's what I was. I was playing on veteran. I I'm really close to it's finishing. It's not too I bad. Just you just have to finish. take it slow. But yeah, yeah, you just have yeah. to take cover a lot. But yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I yeah, advanced warfare. You sh we should go. We should play a lot of things that we're not gonna play. But you know. Yeah. Also, See, I don't know. the advanced warfare okay. was the best campaign of of a long time. Like right. Black Ops one, and then advanced warfare. Because yeah. I didn't like Modern Warfare 3, I didn't like Ghosts at all, Black Ops 2, I didn't give too much of a chance, but it was it was alright. The it was better than the Modern Warfare 3 one when I played Black it. Ops 2 was like one of one of my favorites, uh, besides Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 I think I had the most fun in and most time in too. I really I could why. not care weird. one bit. Like we went on, me and Ryan went on the. That was one of the years we went on the Colts trip. Was when he yeah. had was the Modern Warfare three year, and he brought his PlayStation three, and I bought mine, and I was playing Killzone three in the other room, and he was playing. <laughs> he was just playing through the Modern Warfare three campaign, and he was loving it. And I and then I got home and I was like, Ryan really liked this. I should try this out. And I played through like the first three yeah. missions, three four. And I was like, I could not give one flying fart about any of this. See, like, it's fun, and it was yeah. cool, but I was like, like, I don't have any desire I to progress. I so much because, like, it was like Modern Warfare 2, only the killstreaks were, like, toned down, like, ten times. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it was it was a lot of fun. Which made it solid. Like, like it was cool. The campaign was, was definitely cool. The other day, I went through my favorites, and I found a song that I favorited back in that day. And I, I, I would, like, play that song as I was playing Mario Warfare 3. And I was like, oh, my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> I played this song all the time. That's when awesome. I, I love Warfare. finding old songs when, like, like uh, I've said this many times. If you listen to a song for the first time or a lot or both you really like while you were – no, like, while you're playing a game. Like, if I find a new song and I'm playing passion. a game and I start <laughs> the new song and I like the new song – and I play it a lot while I play that game. Whenever I hear the song in the future, it will immediately put images of that game in my mind. Right. It's like programmed in there. Like I will hear a song and I will freaking think of Lord of the Rings online. <laughs> oh um, yeah. Yeah. Back, then, in, uh, back in the sound Hart. drop days, mate. Back in the Savant sound. Heart. Yeah. Mate. For real. It's yeah, true. So okay, let's I'm gonna blow yeah. through some of these real quick. Yeah, let's, let, let, let's let's go. Let's do this. I'll talk about one that you don't care about, but okay. I care about. Dark Knight Returns. Why did I freaking write four? <laughs> For the fourth time. <laughs> what? All right. Well, people who like Batman comics or like DC comics know that Frank Miller has written one of the best uh, Batman comics that ever to exist. The Dark Knight Returns, part one and part two. And he freaking tweeted out something that said, I hope that by now my silence is deafening. And in really awesome picture, it says Dark Knight, the Master Race, Fall 2015. So <laughs> they, he's making a Dark Knight Returns sequel, which Interesting. sounds freaking awesome because the first one was great. You need to watch those movies I sent you, mate. I, I, um, I, I sent them to... Dude, and I was like, is so this, good. like, anime? It's anime. I'm, like, really confused. It's really good. I thought it was Japanese at first. I honestly <laughs> didn't. <laughs> Dude, I watched because the, uh... Everything was plastered with, with uh, Asian text yeah. and such. And then they started talking, and I was like, oh, okay. It's yeah. just I English. Sent it, it's regular uh, animation. <laughs> I sent it to you and Gabby and Jared because you guys were like, oh, who can Batman fight Superman? And I had read the comics. So the Rise? comic... I had read the comic that this was based off of, so I was like, I had never seen these, but I've heard that they were really good, so I just linked them to you guys. And then I was like, I should see these. So I started watching the first one, and the first one, like, the first part of the comics is, without a doubt, the most, like, uneventful of the two. Like, it's definitely right. nowhere near. But the movie was awesome. Like, I was, I was like, mm -hmm. wow, this is really good. I didn't like this at all in the comic. I only liked right. part two in the comics, and this is great. So I can only imagine how part two is going to be. So I'm going to watch that soon. Yeah. Part two is going to be awesome, hopefully. 
But yeah, you should watch part one. It was it was really awesome. Batman's a freaking boss. <laughs> World of Warcraft movie, Warcraft as it is just called, Warcraft, is yeah. pushed back to June 2016, whereas That's it was supposed to come out. That's fine with me, because yeah. I really want to see that and get into the lore, I'm because so it's hard to. That's it was really cool. hard to, with just like YouTube videos, I guess. Yeah. And there's so much that we just missed. so I feel much. Like the movie would translate it a lot better. Yeah, there's so much. But we'll see. So yeah, that uh, that was supposed to come out. I think this uh, this. Oh wait, wait, no. Its original Man. date was March eleventh, twenty sixteen, and now Man, it's just started, think about it though. Cool. Um, they're making this movie in that insanely CGI form they do for their trailers. I think. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is, is a, this is a live action movie. What? This is a really? live action movie. Oh my gosh! What? Yeah. yeah. I thought this was like going to be a live like a action CGI movie. movie directed by like real directors and like real actors it's like a freaking what? it's a movie okay. yeah it's gonna be a little different than it's i a, it's a it's it. supposed to be a giant like theater experience which is awesome i'm super excited it's gonna be really yeah. interesting and cool that should be awesome then yeah we should all uh, get together and see it <laughs> yeah i have a plane ticket i but we're gonna use that for freaking star wars yeah i that's my uh my vote is that you should use that for star wars yeah definitely so it's a round trip too so yeah mm -hmm. nice oh awesome so telltale games the uh creators of walking dead uh tales from the borderlands wolf, wolf among, among us. us i great game wolf among us um <laughs> yeah so they they partnered with marvel so they are going to be thrones. releasing oh yeah game of thrones they're going to be releasing um, Marvel Telltale games in 2017, which is freaking yep. awesome. So I'm down with that. Can we get Daredevil? Can we get Maybe. a Batman? Oh, wait. He didn't Murdoch. partner with DC, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> wish they did. That both. Be perfect. Yeah, uh, yeah, just Dude, partner oh, with both of them. Mix the just universe. Freaking, <laughs> I wish that <laughs> mix the universe. Batman I wish, v Daredevil. Dude, what's crazy is that stuff like that has happened <laughs> over the years. Like there are comics where like Hulk meets Batman <laughs> and stuff like that. It's crazy. So, oh, dude, I found out recently that there is a comic called Imagine If St Stan Lee created the DC Universe. And it's basically it's a comic book by Stan Lee with his iterations on the DC Trinity: Wonder Woman, Superman, and really? Batman. It's awesome. It looks awesome, at least. Batman's black. <laughs> wow. So yeah, it's re it looks really cool. I, I kind of want to read that. That makes him really easy to hide in the shadows. Bam, bam, bam. So. Oh uh, yeah. Now so... it's just utterly racist. All right. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. Racist. <laughs> uh... So, um, Steam released something recently. Okay. This is something Here, like... I'll let you talk about this. Uh, I mean... Keep in mind, we have eight minutes until an hour. <laughs> all right. Um, so... <sighs> Lord Gaben, Gaben, also Lord, known as the false god. Lord <laughs> um, he... Oh, well, not specifically, but it's Valve in general, I guess. Um, they decided to make a paid option for for Steam mods so that mod creators can go to the workshop, make upload their uh, mod, and charge people for it. Which and I... I think there's something on the cu customer side that you can like pay what you want or something. But anyway, the, the problem with it is that people can download other people's mods, change it a little upload it and still get profit off of it and people can like there there is this mod called absolutely nothing for 45 bucks and guess what you did <laughs> absolutely, absolutely nothing. nothing that is hilarious it, it's just uh, the whole system is crap it's horrible like what they need to it's do crap. is just mods has always mod been like system. a pc like strong point yeah that... where you're just like oh look you i can get some mods. lightsabers let me just download these lightsabers you know Whereas, i know like... i understand that a lot of work can, to go into these things that's why they should have a donate button yeah if they... i find the if i find a mod really great i would donate i yeah. definitely would donate. what they need to do is like 
just do the normal mod system like it used to be, and right. then at the end, or like, um, Would after you like you've, to donate? yeah, after you've played with it for a bit, just have it have the donate button be more like prominent. When you close the game or something. Like some mods do, or at least did, used to have like the donate button on their front page, but like yeah. somehow have it integrated into Steam, where like if you downloaded it and you've played it yeah. there'll be like maybe you when like you download it? it or when you start the game or close the game it has a pop-up box saying do you want to donate this took a lot so of work blah 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 blah, blah. so it, it's dumb i don't know what it's gaben dumb. is thinking yeah it's it's kind of weird kind of stupid people have been plastering his face on the uh um i'll, I'll find the picture right. but yeah they've been you know how the steam community and pretty much everyone on like pc PC yep. gamers in general, they they Photoshop a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like so many like different freaking memes and crap. Yeah. So quickly, Heroes of the Storm, Blizzard's MMO or MOBA, <laughs> Blizzard's MMO, Blizzard's MOBA <laughs> is getting an official open beta and release date, which is awesome. I really yeah. liked Heroes of the Storm. I really liked how those dailies, the quests and leveling up your oh, yeah. characters, I liked how that worked a lot. But And I, I liked that the matches were game. shorter, but the the it only problem for me... Yeah, I, love, yeah, I, liked how, I liked how different it was. It was different. But the only problem for me was that it was in like beta slash alpha, so it wasn't too well optimized, and not too many people were playing it, and it was only a couple maps. So like once this comes out officially, I might... I might like try I, and I give would, it a shot. I would play it. Yeah, we, we should all. We played it for quite a bit, actually. Yeah, because if people, if there is any sort of MOBA that can take down League of Legends, it's Blizzard's MOBA. Yeah, seriously. Like yeah. it is Blizzard. If there is anyone that can do it, it's Blizzard. No one else. Like if this fails, yeah. League will forever be on top. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Um, but honestly, um, oh, this game. I love how you can like focus. Like, like, they're, like, setting it up to have, like, competitions. Yeah. Because um, the, it's so map-focused to where there's certain objectives and such. It's like, yeah. oh, he's getting the, the thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shoutcasting out the wazoo. So. <laughs> what if that was just the shoutcast? He's getting the thing! We yeah. can't let him get the thing. <laughs> Quality. Quality. That would uh, be great. Oh. Uh, Commentary. So the the actual dates I never sent them. The open beta is May twentieth, which is coming up fairly soon, and the release date is June second. <clears> so in the summer. So that's awesome. We should uh, we'll give that a shot. So get uh, yeah, on look, that. Get on that open that, beta. Uh, um, get on that release date. Picture I sent you. Oh, let me look. Let me take a gander here. It <laughs> is. It's pretty much a picture of <laughs> Gaben's face. Um, Gabe Newell's face. Um, it says false guy. It's hard, it's hard to see, but it's um, the Superman. It's from the Superman versus Batman trailer. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. That's really great. So. Pastor's face on the false god. All so, right. Um, we have yeah. like. Hold on. Let me let me find the time. We have two minutes to talk about Flash and Arrow. Let's talk about this news no. and then segue into Flash and Arrow. I'll talk about it real quick and then get out. The drope. Oh, the drope. We can't forget the drope. I, I'm getting open here. Awesome. So, one of the actors from Edge of Tomorrow, which I have heard has been was an amazing movie and I really want to see, has been cast as a character named Jay Jackson in the upcoming Arrow slash Flash spinoff. The, oh. the Flash uh, Arrow spinoff, which has Katie Lotz, you know, freaking oh, okay. Brandon Routh, freaking... Ray of, and Sarah, it's really weirding me out, but I'm very excited about it. Speaking of spinoffs, I wonder when we're going to see more Walking Dead stuff. Yeah, soon, I bet. I bet they'll start marketing it out the wazoo. But yeah. what's freaking interesting about this, about the guy being cast, is the description. First of all, he's black, and he looks very young. Here's a picture of him. So keep that in account as I read the description. For all you DC fans out there. As described in the CW's announcement, Jackson is a former high school athlete whose pro career was derailed by injury. Now making ends meet meets as an auto mechanic, Jay will come to have a surprising affiliation to the Star Labs crew. 
Does that sound like anyone to you? Cyborg. Cyborg, yeah. Just saying. Um, it all starts I, with the, that would the... be crazy if that happened, but that's what that I mean, freaking description sounds like. That's exactly what black. that sounds like. He looks very much like an actor that could be Cyborg. Yeah. Like, like very, very much so. Flash and so keep your keep your eye out on that. I'm I don't know that'll I'm sure they'll start talking about that as soon as the season ends. And right, we have about four weeks left of Flash and now, so a month we got a month left. Yeah, something's going on downstairs. Um, so Flash and Arrow. Let's talk about it real quick. Flash right. was Flash. pretty awesome. Um, um, stuff went down. Stuff went down like always. I'm oh, trying there to hasn't been conflict yet. Probably coming Tuesday. Yeah. It's coming okay. Tuesday, definitely. Oh, I'm... dude. It was kind of slow, to be honest. But at the end, they freaking also, what one of the awesome things it's was that G. Joe. G. Wills. Yeah. Freaking Joe and Cisco went to uh, Starling That's City right. to investigate right. about uh, Harrison Wells. Freaking and they, they talked to and Lance and Laurel. <laughs> By the way, Laurel was awesome in that episode, right? Yeah, she was very. Um... She's getting to be confident. <laughs> a lot better of a character. Freaking yeah. Felicity is going downhill and Laurel is going uphill. Like, what is happening here? <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking weird. Um, Cisco like confessed his love to Laurel. GG. Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, uh, freaking Maybe Laurel the has the cry. canary cry. It's so gonna be GG. around her neck. She's literally she going to scream to, it. Like, yeah. It's freaking awesome. I am so excited. Like, and he, both of the promos, dude, are intense. Yeah. Like, both and, last week were kind of <laughs> setting up this week. Right. You know? What was really cool is that when he was when he was like, mentioning the um, Canary Cry, he's, he said something like, uh, you know, I've been, I've been working with some vibration. Or yeah, vibration yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I've been working with, like, vibration technology, which is freaking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. They just keep, like, coming. tossing it's stuff coming. out at us. Yeah. Um... So yeah, Flash was crazy. The biggest thing was freaking at the end. They found yeah, Harrison Wells' room. They found the newspaper that said 2024. Oh, yes, yes. Gideon was talking to him. Oh my gosh, actually she oh, wasn't. No, Gideon was, didn't no, talk. no, she will. That's in the freaking comic oh. preview for the upcoming oh. episode. The comic preview for the episode, apparently the upcoming episode starts off right there. They're oh. in the room. Harrison Wells oh. is in the building, and yeah. Oh, so yeah, freaking! Ex I'm so freaking excited. But in the in the comic promo, what happened was Gideon was like, "Hello, Barry Allen, otherwise known as the Flash, founding member of the Justice," and then he cuts her off. Oh no! I was like, "What? I oh! been... <laughs> is it the promo? It's the comic promo. The uh, comic promo. Okay. They show oh off my gosh. A little, uh, strip Holy crap! Of a, of a scene. <laughs> Yeah, so GG. Awesome. The oh. Justice. <laughs> yeah. I was, and then he cut her oh, off. Yeah. And I was That's like, oh. Awesome. Right. So, the, um, the yeah, Arrow. Yeah, Arrow. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. I, I don't know. I'm curious. I love these shows, though. They have so much potential, and they can keep going forever, which is awesome. Um, also, Roy, when is he coming back? Just tossing that out there. <laughs> Arrow. Um, I don't really see like a fitting place for him to come back, He's, honestly. I know, but he freaking will. Tell. I just know it. I feel it in my gut. He will I be back does, before the end of the season. It's hard to tell. I mean, I have no doubt that he will be back. Maybe within, he was back because he heard about the end of the season. Something. I mean, before the end of the season, it will happen. That is my gut. That is my instinct. That is my feeling. But and you think he'll maybe he comes back like all like legit and. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, something. he is pretty legit already. Yes. Um, so he becomes like in a mecha suit or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so Arrow was pretty awesome, basically. Arrow is getting a lot better. Oh, it's it's been better. I I've said that for like uh, the past two weeks. It is like two two weeks ago. It has gotten back on its track of awesomeness. Yeah. So I agree. Arrow basically they. They take Thea to the Lazarus pit, the dipper in the Lazarus pit. But the thing about that is, like, w w between in that break when they like, uh, when someone made that like, um, picture of the Lazarus pit, thinking how uh, 
Ollie would come back to life. You know, yeah. everyone was like, "Oh, Ollie's dead. How is he going to come back to life?" Oh, well, uh, they just don't uh, explain it, and they later. <laughs> but um, uh, I've come to yeah. accept that it was that she used leaves like made from the lizard's pit. That's what. I'm... Probably, but um, That's what I, I just feel like to. it was very. And it's like come back to. I feel like. Oh no! It was still stupid and horrible. It was horrible. Yeah. It was awful. Awful. How they that's why the Lazarus Pit. I yeah, mean... that's why the first half of like the mid season, like first like five episodes after the mid season break were horrible, freaking trash. They're it's bad. just they just like when they first introduced it, it's just like there's a pit. Okay, Lazarus Pit. That was very un. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That, yeah, it wasn't dealt with. Well. I mean, but... if like would it be really cool is like if freaking. He ran in with freaking Thea to Raish, and um, they had a conversation, and then they just pan over to the um, pit or something. I don't know. I don't freaking know. Freaking dumb. Why would I he go to? It... Why would he go to Raish <laughs> with because Thea? And be like, he was Help! told. He was yeah. told that he can bring him to life. What the freaking? Which would, why not explain I the Lazarus pit? You know. You I don't know. I. It's I, hard. It's hard. The to, way the. You know, the only way that they could have revealed it better was to have dealt with Oliver better, and they didn't. So, it's fine. Yeah. I thought they did it, like, considering what they had to deal with, I thought it was fine. But, um, yeah, so Arrow, he, oh, yeah, he, uh, he basically was like, all right, there's no other way I can do this. So, yeah, I am, uh, Al Sahim, heir to the demon now. Yeah. No, he just literally woke up and was like, I am Al Sahim. <laughs> I am heir to the demon. That was awesome. That was, that was awesome. pretty legit. And, like, they ended the episode with, like, a freaking awesome, like, putting on the gear, the new league gear. And then he's and like, he's... <laughs> your old self, Oliver, is dead. And then, like, the end. Oliver's dead. So, yeah. Do it. Uh, next... <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You do that so well. Do it, Anakin. Do it, Anakin. I need... <laughs> do it, Oliver. <laughs> Oliver. Go in the dark. It's so your bad. destiny. <laughs> <laughs> to become legend. <laughs> All right. Oh All right. The reference is out the wall. Let, let's get on that drill. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm, get, I'm going. Oh, oh, you're getting it today. All right. Let's alternate. You get, oh, yeah. you get one, and then I get one. We got a... Uh... Freaking uh, Ryan Clements powerhouse. PlayStation Power powerhouse. House. All right. Yep. Moving on. Broken Age, <laughs> PS4, PS Vita, digital cross buy. Awesome. I Pretty assume cool. I, a lot I've of people heard, like that game. Yeah, I've heard that it's cross. It's a point and click, so. I think. Yeah, it's it's an That's adventure cool. game. Yeah. Uh, so, Omega. I mean, a game. Yeah. So, and then yeah. Omega Quintet, PS4. In this hybrid RPG slash idol simulation, idol five simulation. idols wield sound weapons against the dark forces of the world. Persona dance game? Huh? No, it's like <laughs> it's like a really yeah. dumb, stupid persona. Uh, yeah. Dancing yeah. all night, mate. I'm so excited for dancing all night. Even <laughs> yeah. though I'm probably not gonna. Get, I I might. I might honestly get that. Of all course right. you will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to finish. Paranormal. Pursuit, the gifted one, collector's edition. This okay. There's a collector's edition. This or picture, P3. dude. This dude, picture. This picture for this <laughs> looks like an ice buy Honestly. game. Look yeah, at it. It's probably. It looks like a click it click I th adventure. I think it's an ice buy. Like, as in yeah, like just find things in the environment. There's a Facebook game like this. I, <laughs> oh, I go to like so my school. When I go to the library in my school, there's some old chick. That sits in a ch chair in front of me at, 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 <laughs> on Facebook, Jeez. playing this game where you point and click fi to find things. That's not a game. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Project Root for the PS4 and PS Vita, which looks like this really... Honestly, that looks kind of cool from what it says. It's a picture of, like, guns and whatnot. It looks like a top-down, maybe twin-stick type missile shooter yeah. thing. Looks cool to me. I don't know. I, yeah. I might look into that. Um, Risk PS3 Digital. If you wanna, if you are ever craving your digital board game needs, yeah. they will be fulfilled. With maybe it's game. familiar. It, maybe it's similar, not familiar, similar to like Civ, only with a little bit different universe, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. I've never played Risk. I can't think of how you would translate Risk into a video game. 
question. I don't know. That's a good question. Anyway. Sketch Cross for the PS Vita. Sketch Cross is a nanogram logic picture puzzle game. So, for yeah. Okay. Moving on. Um, <laughs> last one is for PS4. Just kind of, uh, Tropico 5. A lot of people um, like this game. Uh, not not I don't know about 5, but a lot of people like adored 4. I've heard a lot about I've Tropico. never played them, but I feel like I've heard that you can just like you're pretty much um, a dictator and you just kill things and you it's 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 a uh, strategy game where you have you build your army. It's kind of like Civ, only a little bit more in depth, I think. Okay. Not not more in depth, but like more in depth in terms of army and uh, your specific like town, I think. All right. But yeah. Well, the highlight of this week is probably uh, Broken Age for the PS4 and Vita. Yeah, definitely. There's not much going on here this week, but you freaking got Destiny and you got all your other games on your backlog. Work on those. What are you doing, you lazy bum? All right. <laughs> I have something random for us. If you want to get something too, as well, that's fine. But uh, uh, I mean, I yeah, okay. I can, I, I I can, yeah. All right, we'll we'll first. end on yours. Yeah, that's what we always do. Okay. Light bulb. This light bulb. is this is the one that is uh, rip, broken. Rip light bulb. So like, what the, what kind of freaking size is this? I don't know. <laughs> So I kind of have to like. I mean, just does go you not have a regular similar? bulb like this or my desk lamp? Where no, it's, it's like this because it's, a, it's. Is it like a smaller type of lamp? Yes, desk lamp. It's it's. Okay, yeah, that's a smaller lamp, desk lamp than I thought it was. I can't hmm. like pull it out anymore. I, I, it's this. It's, it's got a clip. It's clipped on. Um, the back. Yeah. Okay. That's what's going. It's like on. a little tiny desk light. Yeah, it's really. This is really or used to be really bright, but. Yeah. I don't know. All right, what you got? All right, my item is the Vita. Hey, it's, bear, bear, bear. it's been an item, but <laughs> oh, it never has? Like, I forgot about that. No hey, one's like, showed, Jared I haven't just showed freaking it. poked me on TeamSpeak. All right. Hey, wake up. Yeah, that's hey, what it just up. said. Hey, wake up. All right. Hey, wake up. Gosh, <laughs> freaking dang it. She's called me a fugit. All right, well, that's our, uh, that's our exit. Right. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you go, remember to uh, subscribe to the, the YouTube channel. Uh, go to my Twitch. I'm, I really am considering streaming more. Um, <laughs> I know I say it a lot. Maybe, maybe not Aries. like every night. Maybe you can stream like maybe yeah. two times I'll, a week or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, yeah. Go to Eric's Twitter, Eric Bailey fifteen. Uh, I get on there sometimes. If to, you send me something, I will see it because my phone does a thing. But go to my uh, Twitter, TVC Act. Go to. Uh, rate us on iTunes if you are listening there. Um, share us with your friends. See? Scrubscribe on and iTunes. Scrubscribe. And uh, we are actually out Everywhere. now. So. Yeah. Peace.